Hi friends, this is Neil from the technical marketing team. Today, I'd like to show you how easy it is to add cloud object store policies to easily backup and restore cloud object stores using Veritas Net Backup. This is the second video in a three-part series. After our credentials have been created and associated with a cloud object store workload, we're now ready to create our policy on what we'd like to back up from the cloud object store. First, we'll create a policy for our Azure cloud object stores. Navigate to protection and then to policies. Click add. Give the policy a name. Select cloud object store as the policy type. Select advanced disk STU as the policy storage. Disable Accelerator. Create the schedule when the backup should run. Next, we'll select the Cloud Objects tab and enter in the Cloud Object Store account, which will be one of the workloads we created in our first video. Select the backup host. Next, we'll add the cloud object store we want to back up. Now we'll create a query so we can further filter what we like to back up in the cloud object store. In this example, you can see we have granular query capabilities such as selecting using prefix, object, and tags. We'll go to Azure and add tags to our blobs so we can query them in that backup. When everything is added, we'll select Create. Next, we'll create an AWS policy. Give the policy a name, select Cloud Object Store as the policy type, disable Accelerator, select Advanced Disk as the policy storage. Create the schedule when the backup should run. Next, we'll select the Cloud Objects tab and enter in the Cloud Object Store account which will be one of the workloads we created in our first video. Select the backup host. Next, we'll add the cloud object store we want to back up. Instead of choosing just one cloud object store, like we did with Azure, we'll select three cloud object stores. This is completely up to you and demonstrates just some of the flexibility in Veritas Net Backup. Similar to Azure, we can create powerful queries to ensure we're backing up only what we need. Let's create a query for each of the cloud object stores. Our first query will back up the entire cloud object store. Our second query will only back up the objects with a prefix of A in the cloud object store. Our third query will only back up the objects with a prefix of E underscore in the cloud object store. When everything is added, we'll select create. In another video, we'll use these policies to create a backup of the cloud object store and perform a recovery. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to add Azure and AWS cloud object store policies. Thank you.